What's up, y'all? I got a feminine feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, um, it is a little late, but Tamar just dropped finally video of the truth. Leave me and Tony Braxton out of this. <laughs> ah, yeah, let's get into it. Praise the Lord, saints. I had to get on here because Tony's not going to say nothing. And I, the last time somebody said something about me, everybody was like, don't defend yourself, but... Today is the day. It is D-Day. Uh -huh. So we're going to finally talk about it. So let's talk about it. Okay. So this video today was leaked from my dressing room, which usually I have no one in my dressing room before a show when it's time to pray. It's just, you know, my immediate staff, right? Uh -huh. So when Kashawn walked in, the reason why my face looked like what is because like, first of all, who is it? And why wasn't nobody stopped at the door? Two, Tony and Krishan did not know who each other was. All right? So, Tony was like, well, who is this person coming in between me and my sister? Me and Tony both, when it's time to pray and we in our dressing room, don't nobody come and interrupt. Period. That's just something that we do. I'm sorry. So, I want to talk about this. My opinion on Krishan walking through the prayer. Um, at first... I was just like, well, damn, Tony, you have to treat her like that. Because regardless, I think that that was rude. However, what I would have done when I came in the room, I would have just put my hand on somebody's shoulder who was in the back and let the prayer play out. Um, and Honey Sauce had to break it down to me. Like, you know, they really into prayer. Her sister passed. Things like that. So breaking the chain of prayer, you know, for some people might be a bit much. So, um I don't blame him on that one. Dude, but Tony could have did a little better. Had a little more class than that. Actually something that I learned from her, okay? So, first of all, my sister has lupus, an autoimmune disorder, okay? Yes, if I she get does. sick, if you get sick, it's no big deal. If she gets sick, she go to the hospital. So what she not finna do is touch a stranger's hand, embrace uh, a stranger. She don't know Krishan well, from, from Adam, okay? And so, when she walked in, it kind of startled everybody. So let's just address that there, okay? You see that? Uh, and at the end, Tony patted her on the shoulder. Okay, and huh? And actually, that was the first time that I met her shot when she walked in that door. Yeah. That's why I turned around and I got you. And then, y'all, Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton put her hand. She put her hand behind her back. Okay? Prayer. It changes things. To our <coughs> Amen. So, let's move on to the next subject. Mm -hmm. Yup, God is good. Yup. Only do it. He's able. So, this is the picture in the middle of my show when they was introduced to each other. In introduced to each other. We started talking about Baltimore. We started talking about, you know, coming from a whole bunch of siblings. And we, everything was all fine and dandy. Let me tell you something. Tony Braxton don't stay for nobody's concert. She don't stay backstage. She sings and she leaves. Not even hers. She stayed most of the time. We had a blast. It was cool. That's Billy, Billy Woodruff over here beside Tony. That's Tony's best friend. Mm -hmm. Everything was great. Everybody was happy. No beef. No drama. Okay. Now let's move on to the next slide. Because today is D-Day. Since people want to sell videos. People want to, you know, <gasps> just put everybody on blast. And, and have people come up with their own stories. Ooh, seven Today videos. is the day of the real story. So let's move on. Okay. Yeah, this right here. This right after James. Get busted in the face. No, the one, two. Krishan punched that nigga in the face. <laughs> <clears throat> I would say you have to excuse me, but you don't. Um, she punched his ass in the face. I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let her finish. Bow back, okay? Yeah, that is still in my dressing room. Uh, uh, tooth, me tooth, is tooth was definitely so, true. So do you want to? Are you gonna press charges? Or you just yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna some charges. I didn't do nothing to that girl. Oh, you can't leave him to the police. Oh, is that the hit that we made up? up? Huh? Now see. James is my best friend, and I would just never ever do him. Look at my baby lips. Yeah, I would never ever else. do him like that. But at this point, it has gotten above and beyond out of Damn. control. Okay? Nobody is lying on nobody. Nobody wants yeah. no trouble. Yeah. That's what's the legendary Tony Braxton. Okay? 
Go ahead. Tony Braxton. Okay. Nobody is lying on nobody. Nobody wants no trouble for nothing. That was the legendary Tony Braxton. Okay. Nobody needed a clap. Okay. Hello. Nobody's trying to get on Zeus. Lamel is a good friend of mine. If I wanted to show, I would have one. If we wanted to show, Tony wanted to show. Okay, so what I'm saying is Okay, before she finish, this is what I'm gonna say. I feel like the way Krishan was treated, I don't give a fuck what none of y'all talking about. The way she was treated as a 26-year-old, uh, excuse me, 23-year-old, I probably would have hit somebody too. Now, let me hold Krishan accountable in, throughout this situation, though. A, she shouldn't have never went there. She should have went to Chris Brown um, little party, but we're going to talk about Tamar's accountability as well. Krishan should have known if she was going to perform or not. Um, Krishan shouldn't have been so motherfucking anxious to get to uh, excuse me, she wasn't even the anxious one. Tamar was. But it just seems like with the events that happened, I just wish Krishan had a little discernment that day on to not go, period. Um, you don't put your hands on people if people ain't put their hands on you. Point blank, period. Um, so she shouldn't have never put her hands on him. I will say they was treating Krishan like a laughing stock, though. And that's one thing that y'all gonna want to deny. They was treating her like a laughing stock. And quite frankly, me at 23, somebody probably would have got paused put on them as well. Um, she shouldn't have never walked through the, par the prayer. T uh, Tony Braxton don't have to hold her hand. You know what I'm saying? But that wasn't the first time Tony was rude. Uh, but not only that, Krishan shouldn't have been so drunk. She was. I feel like she was out of it. Um, and just ultimately... She shouldn't have been there. Tamar shouldn't have begged her to go. What you begging her to go for? I, I will never get over that part of it. Why are you begging her to go? Like you begged her to go. Then, you know what I'm saying? I just, it's a lot about that that I that just don't sit right with me. Begging her to go wasn't needed. I mean, on the live, pressing her about it. Then you you don't know if she gonna perform or not. I guess you didn't tell her whether she was performing or not. <clears throat> Y'all give her the mic, take the mic. It was a lot that I feel like a lot of twenty three olds probably would have been ready to punch one of them in the face. Now this is a time we could use Krishan's age, quite frankly, because that was a situation where she was around a bunch of fucking <coughs> forty and up people. You know what I'm saying? And it was rude as fuck. You know, was Krishan rude as well? She was doing a lot. She, I don't say, I don't want to say she was rude, but she was a bit clingy, a bit. She was just acting like a, the baby that she is. You know what I'm saying? But that's my point. Tamar knew that. Tamar knew she was a baby. Tamar knew she, and I mean a baby when it comes to being around people and shit. Not a baby with blue face. I'm over that part. Um, but just. She shouldn't have been there, period. She shouldn't have been there. All right. This happened today from, his name is Keon Pierre. I don't even know the man. <coughs> he said this footage that was leaked from Tamar's dress room to TMZ TV was captured by me. The only people who have possession of it other than myself and boop, the bitter <laughs> one and somebody named Rodney Jr. I don't even know him. Y'all know who Troy is. These two bozos are in cahoots with each other because they are friends. Do not use my footage to stir the pot of drama, especially if you distort the quality. He's talking about his quality, okay, child? I know that's right. Everybody fighting for their rights today, okay? He said, don't use my footage to stir the pot of drama, okay? Especially if you distort the quality. I know that's right. Everybody worrying about their body of work. Me too. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tamar Brack said, I am deeply sorry that this footage got out and I would never do anything to tarnish you or your family's brand and name. Yes, because the truth of the matter is me and my sister meant no ill will towards nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our torn business. We take it very seriously. And the truth of the matter is, James, 
I'm so sorry. I love you with all my heart and soul. But your friend sold you up a river for $5,000. I was about to say, and I guess because in that video, James said something. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't heard it yet. I'm gonna listen yep. to it. Somebody said he sold the video to TMZ. The man here, Keon, said y'all sold that video. Not me. Keon said y'all sold that video to somebody named Charlie for $5,000. Now, I just want to give y'all a little story time. Y'all want a little, another story? I mean, amazing. what else we got to do, this huh? Is, um, Travis, yeah. and he has a bit of information that he'd like to share. Travis, would you step up to the podium and give the people of God the information that you know? So what actually led up to Krishan being angry that night before she attacked James uh -huh. was the fact when she got there, she had 10 people there, but she originally only told us that it was supposed to be six people with her. Uh -huh. So with Troy Davis, and you know I'm not lying because I was standing right there while you was talking to her and her team, you told the, the venue staff that only six people can be backstage and the rest has to go to the audience. So mm -hmm. after she picked the six people, she was also told that she was the only one that can be on the left side of the stage by herself. Mm -hmm. After that situation happened, she ended up coming up to me and said, hey, fam, I'm not trying to cause any issues, but can I at least have one person over there? And I asked her, who did she want? And she said, her manager with the dreads. Mm -hmm. So I've got one of the venue staff members and the venue staff member brought her manager to the back. So after that, she was calm a little bit. And then she ended up coming up to me again. And she said, hey, fam, when am I performing? What time am I performing? When time am I going Because remember on? I had said that I had wanted her to come out and do a survive all the time doing the twerk all part? That's what we was talking about. Go ahead. Now read on. So I told her, I said, I didn't know anything about that, but let me go to the person who's in charge. What the fuck was she there for then? You telling me <clears throat> y'all take y'all touring business very seriously, but y'all had no plan for her to be there or while she was there, what she would be doing. So you decided during the time you was there, let you do a little twerk out, Christian. Why the fuck was you wasting her time? Man, fuck all that. I'd be hot too. Uh, fuck that. What? Which is Latroy Davis while we were on tour. At the time, he was on tour. Because his tour. So I went up to Latroy and I said, hey, Krishan said, when is she performing? He asked me, what are you talking about? I said, Krishan told me that Tamar Braxton told her that she can perform doing one of the halftime um, things. He was like, well, she's not getting on my stage. She's not getting on my stage. And I was like, what, what do you want me to tell her? He was like, but she's not getting on my stage. And he walked off. And that was that. So that's the story. Please leave me out of the chat. I'm big on the... <coughs> Krishan <clears throat> should have punched Latroy ass in the face. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Latroy would have hit back now. But we would have just had to squabble. Cause uh what the fuck am I here for? Which Tamar should have take taken accountability for. Cause bitch, this is originally your fault. Your fault that she was there. She was there with no purpose and no money. So y'all treated Krishan like she was a motherfucking toddler. Uh, y'all needed to babysit for a second. Because other than that, what the fuck was the purpose? And if I was Krishan, I would be very much so upset about that. Now, I wouldn't have punched James in the face. James took the straight though, because he was probably trying to give comfort that wasn't there. I don't need y'all comfort. Y'all niggas is phony, okay? However, Krishan did go in there, you know, acting very much so young and very much so drunk. You know what I'm saying? All of them were drinking, but some of us can hold our liquor than some of us. Okay? So, I just feel as though everybody played a part in this shit and, and Tamar need to take a little more accountability than what she's taking. For real. And um, I don't think James deserved that stray. I don't. But he shouldn't have never gotten her personal space either. And like I told y'all, if if it is true that he got in her per personal space to comfort her, console her, her if she got if she get the right lawyer, they gonna fight it. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. I do want to see the part where um what James said because I did not see, I didn't listen to that part anyway. 
Um, I need to find it. If y'all can send it to me, just send it to me. Y'all know I hate just holding on to shit, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. I will have a lot, a lot, a lot of content for y'all tomorrow. That's including Patreon, YouTube, everything. So y'all make sure y'all tap in tomorrow. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.